Shalom, giving all praise to you. How about Shemel Shah, by Shem Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. And I'm going to entitle this video The MOTB is a part of their agenda. So, what I did was I looked up, I typed in agenda. which is a noun and it says a list of items to be discussed at a formal meeting an agenda is a list of meetings meeting activities in the order in which they are to be taken up. There's a certain order of an agenda. An agenda is a, a, a goal. You might have a 10 year agenda. So five years into that agenda, that list, you know you have five years left before you reach the pinnacle, you know, the top of the mountain, so to speak. So the top of the mountain or the pinnacle for the elite is um, this karagma. So let me read that again. An agenda is a list of meeting activities in the, in the order in which they are to be taken up, beginning with the call to order and ending with adjournment. It usually includes one or more specific items of business and the MOTB is a, a specific item of business to be acted upon. It may but is not required to include specific items or times for one or more activity. So you have a time limit like the um, the Red Shield, the Roth Shield, their agenda is more than a hundred years. Their agenda goes back more, more than a hundred years. So they will reach the pinnacle of it of their agenda with this uh you know karagma, the MOTB. Let me look let me go to some of the drop down right here, the drop down menu. What does what does have an agenda mean? The Most High also has an agenda, a plan or goal that guides someone's behavior and that is often kept secret. The only different, difference with our agenda is not secret, it's open to the public. So these the elite have secret meetings, they don't tell anybody what they're doing. He wants to push, promote his own agenda, no matter what the others say. She had no idea, no hidden agenda. Like us, we have no hidden agenda. Remember, the, uh, an agenda could be a good thing. You might get with a group of people, and you, have, you all have a common goal. And you should reach that goal in 10 years or whatever. A boxer has an agenda. They, they uh, have their first, their first pro fight, then their second pro fight, then their third pro fight. They're 10 and 0. And part of their agenda is to be champion, champion of, of the world, of that weight division. And you have a manager. You have a promoter. Uh, you have a trainer or trainers, you have conditioned co coaches, and you sit down and you train based upon the fights that you have. First pro fight, debut, uh, pro fight is a f normally a four rounder. You fight maybe five of them, and then a four, and then you go to six rounders, then you go to eight rounders, then you go to ten rounders. You're under defeated, you're probably close to. You could be 15 and 0, 10 and 0, 
And now you're looking to, you know, become one of the top ten. And um, you reach a certain level in the top ten. You become the number one guy, number three guy. And you're looking to take down one of the champions. And if you take down that champion, you become the champion of one of the sanctioned bodies. You then look to fight the other champion. And sometimes you got guys that don't want to fight you because they don't want to lose the belt. So you got to negotiate. So that's an agenda. So anything that you do. You know, people in high school, they want to be a doctor. So the agenda is whether you make a pact with your friends to all become doctors or whatever. Or you just, you have your, your own agenda. Anyway, I don't got to read any more on that. So there's a video. That uh, the elder of uh, Las Vegas, a GMS a Vegas sit down, a 144K, who goes by the name of uh, Karataza, he had put this video up entitled MOTB being advertised in a Israeli kids commercial. E, we know what E means, letting it be known what the plan is or what plan is or what the agenda is so I'm not going to show this video what I'll do however I'll put the same video on my Odyssey account so you can watch it or you can just watch the video that the elder put up and if you can't see you know the clues if you can't see what we here at GMS sees is because of one or two things. Either the, or it could be three things. Either the most I have blinded you to not see it, or you do see it and pretend not to see it because you would have to admit that GMS was always right, or you do see it and you can't say it because. You're a part of that agenda of the elite. It's one of the three. Because it, because you just can't say in this stage of the game, oh, you just don't see it. You see it as something else. Now, when it, so now I'm looking at Israel as a, a model for the rest of the planet. This is a test run for the rest of the planet but it's going to start with children so what I'm going to do we already know the precepts on um, the MOTB the first thing is gonna, that's going to happen is um, the cash that we know paper cash credit cards are going to be all obsolete and uh, you know what I'm going to do? Let me look up the word obsolete. I know what it means, but I want to... Okay, obsolete. Obsolete. Here's the definition of obsolete. No longer produced or used. Out of date. Okay, I hope you heard her. Obsolete. No longer produce or use out of date. So this current money system will be out of date, will be no longer used, will be obsolete, the credit card system. And then it's going to be replaced with the CBDC. And then from the CBDC, it will go into uh, the MOTB. So, in closing, you are the camps that teach otherwise. Because there's other camps out there that teach the same thing that we teach. Sakari is one of them. You other camps, major camps, that's not teaching 
it the way we teach it, they're going to have a lot of explaining to do. But, however, if you got a bunch of zombies of following you, they're going to just follow your lead no matter what you do. Even if you say, go ahead and take it, there's nothing wrong with that. GMS is going, going off. Don't listen to those bums. And see, if that happens, we're going to fuck it. We're going to laugh at you. We're going to laugh at you. If you're marching down to some doctors or tattoo shop and getting, getting uh, see hip because your, your teacher, you know, your God or whatever, your zombie master tells you to do it and you just go ahead and do it, we're going to laugh at you. We're going to laugh at you. And we're not going to feel sorry for you either. And a lot of you that know not to take it, you're going to take it because your wife and your and your wife will allow your children behind your back to take it, and then you're going to break down and wind up taking it too. This is the final prophecy before the deliverance and the destruction. Gog and Magog is going. It's happening now, not a thousand years from now. Anyway. Let me come back over here. So you can watch the video on this elder's channel. But like I said, I'm going. To, I'm planning on putting it up on uh, my Odyssey uh, account as well. So it's just one step closer. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.